Yole and Maria Ruiz enjoy a peaceful afternoon outside with friends and family, a far cry from their lives only a year ago. Like thousands of undocumented minors escaping poverty and violence, the sisters crossed the U.S.-Mexico border illegally last year to reunite with their family. But the happy reunion is now replaced with anxiety of not knowing what will happen next. I am waiting for them to give a document, some sort of relief, but only God knows. The sisters already had three court appearances and are awaiting a fourth. The process could take years. People who don't necessarily understand the immigration laws often say to me, why can't people do this the right way? There are systems in place. There is laws in place for these children. Make no mistake, these children are refugees. Coming to the U.S. was a gamble for the family. Tanya Mesa and her husband left the girls with their grandmother in Nicaragua when they were toddlers. Looking for a better life for her girls, Mesa saved and borrowed money from friends to pay smugglers $11,000 to bring them across the border, a trek that spanned five countries. As the family adjusts to being together again, the girls worry about their grandmother who's now sick. We are happy and sad, happy because we're with our parents, but sad because we left our grandma. They say going back is not an option unless they're deported, something the girls who are eight and nine try not to think about, yet hangs over them every single day. In New York, Vanessa Alvarez, Associated Press.